video is an overview of Factory Talk Policy Manager and its capabilities. So Factory Talk Policy Manager allows the user to set security configuration to devices that are SIP security capable. And this is done mainly through the concept of using zones and conduits. A zone has security configurations set for it and devices in that zone inherit those security configurations. Devices in that zone also trust each other using the settings of the zone. So that can be certificate-based authentication or it can be using pre-shared keys or using um, trusted IP for authentication along with additional security configuration. And conduits allow communication to occur outside of zones to have trusted communication outside of zones. This is all done using this model tool that is looking at services that are on a server. The user can set up the secure security configuration using the policy manager tool. And once everything looks good, they can click on the deploy button up here, who will, which will then deploy the configurations to devices that are out in the field. Once those devices are out in the field, um, if any changes need to be made, they can be made in the model and deployed again. So this is just going to be an overview of parts and components of the tool. You can look at the other videos for more detailed information. So up here we have our main toolbar that appears on every screen. You have the deploy button which will deploy the model at any time when the user clicks that. Then we have this logging capability that the user can log off and then log on with a different username and password. And then access to the help menu. Over here we have our navigation pane so the users can look at their zones, conduits, devices in the model, and devices that have been deleted since last deployment. Within zones, there's an explorer pane that gives you a list of zones so you can navigate through all the, each individual zone. Or you can go to the overview table that shows you a table of all your zones. Over on the right is the properties pane. This shows you the properties of the item that has been selected. So as the user clicks around, you can see the property pane will change with the selection. At the bottom of the navigation area is the global settings. These are settings that apply to the entire model. So that includes the model name and certificate settings. So if you set a certificate for a zone, these settings will be applied with those certificates. Also at the bottom in the status bar area is your connection status. So that will tell you if you are connected to the policy manager services um, or not. And then we have our results pane. What shows up here is when the user clicks on deploy, this will show you the real time status of deploy. And then once deploy is complete, it will show you the results of that deployment and the user can then save it to their desktop. So that covers the components of the tool. You can look in the other videos to get more detailed information about each of these components.